What's up, word nerds? Welcome to Puzzle With Me. My name is Lawrence, and I am a little late, but I'm going to solve the New York Times crossword from Thursday, January 13th, 2022. This is by Karen Lurie. And uh, yeah, um, normally I would solve this on Thursday. Today it is actually Friday, but uh, I life got in the way, and I wasn't able to solve it uh, yesterday. So um, here we go. I'm going to open it up uh, to follow along. You can see the clues that I'm looking at highlighted in blue to the left of the grid. Urgent order. Stat, maybe, or ASAP. Uh, year in Brazil is ano, so maybe it's ASAP and not. Uh, uh, word before case or sack. Uh, sad case, sad sack, maybe. Flurry. Adieu, perhaps? Masquenada is the song. Uh, striped polecat's defense. Striped polecat's defense. I'm guessing that's an odor. I don't really understand. Um, maybe a striped polecat uses a, like, some kind of a smell to defend itself, like a skunk, maybe. Uh, chimichurri ingredient. Wow, is it parsley? I don't know what a chimichurri is, but just maybe P-A-R, I'm guessing parsley. Uh, it could be parsnip, maybe, but uh, I'll go with parsley. Alternatives to dogs. Cats? No. Alternatives to dogs. Burgers. Could be alternatives to hot dogs or something. I don't know. Uh, chicks say. Actor Malik is Rami. Uh, blank to spy, a.k.a. The Weeknd. Oh, I don't know The Weeknd's real name. But that's interesting. I'm curious to find out, actually. Flooring option. Some card readers. It's some, so it should end in an S, maybe? And I don't know. 10 across. Winter hours in Seattle would be Pacific. Winter is not going to be daylight. Pacific Standard Time, I think, is what it is. Certain bite risk. Certain bite risk. Hmm. Uh, quizzical cries. Blank pan, kitchen utensil. Nope. The sweetest joy, the wildest blank is love. Nope. Important warning. Ah, here's our revealer at the beginning. Important warning before you answer 32, 40, and 4, 52 across. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know what that is referencing. I guess we'll find out. Maneuvered for... Hmm. Skyline features. Nope. Skyline feature. A single one. That might be a tower. Maybe. Uh, top suit. CEO, maybe? Interruption. Nope. 2003 Pixar Animated Adventure. 2003. Okay, it's not Up, it's not Toy Story, it's not A Bugs. Life. 2003. Pixar. It's not Wally. -E. What came out in 2003? I can't remember. Start to profit, non maybe? Pad, so to speak. Pirates Domain, C. 2004, Quentin Tarantino martial arts film. 2004. Is it Kill Bill Vol Volume 2? What's this? 38 down. Political correspondent, Mistal, I don't know. Psy is going to be alas. Okay, it's not Kill Bill. Quentin Tarantino martial arts film. It's not Kill Bill. What else did he make? I don't know. Okay, suburb, suburb, almost 20 miles west northwest, west northwest of Boston. Low Island. 
That might be a K. What do we have going down? Apt rhyme for Rubik, cubic. Uh, the Blank Holmes Mysteries, Enola. It is K, I think. Not as expected. Oddly, maybe? Kind of branch, depicted on German Euro coins. Don't know. Formerly known as is AKA, maybe? Uh, maybe nay, not AKA. Pad, so to speak, is abode. Okay. Birthplace of Pythagoras? Nope. Petitions? Nope. Blank? We don't need no stinking badges. Uh, 1993 Warner Brothers Family Drama? No. Okay, interesting that these are all movies, though. Hmm, okay. Investment initials. I-P-O. Disinclined. Texas is the largest U.S. producer of these. Hullabaloo is a do. No, wait. We had a do already. So maybe hullabaloo is not a do. Something else. Makes Mary elates, maybe? Thought. Idea. Acoustics for one. Striped yellow balls in pool. Stretch in logic. Okay, chicks. Let's see, flooring options, some car gear, standing like Wonder Woman, posing. No. Standing like Wonder Woman, say. Power, posing. There we go. I like it. Okay, they're constantly lapped. And kind of fly. Jump scares in horror movies. Ideal, informally. Gallagher's Gallagher of Rocks Oasis. Is it? It's either Noel or Liam, and I don't know which. Interruption. Skyline features. Spires. There we go. Okay. It's Liam. Subject line abbreviation is attention. Home of New York City's public theater is either Soho or NoHo. I'm not sure which one. Maneuvered for. Hmm. Singer with the 2016 al uh, number one album, This Is What The Truth Feels Like. 2016. Hmm. Kind of branch depicted on German Euro coins. Correspondent, rhyme, cause to be admired. Hmm. Anachronistic verb in the age of smartphones. Lotion alternative. Green bugs. Uh, oh, maybe it's aphids, green aphids. One of a character class in Dungeons and Dragons. Let's see, there's fighters. There's clerics, there's uh, uh, mages, there's no wizards, sorcerers, monks, barbarians, uh, uh, rangers. Oh man, I play D&D, so I should know this. One of, uh, druids. Shoot, I don't know what it is, damn it. Upside down L on a calculator, seven? Okay, approve. Goddess in the Hindu pantheon, small bird with a loud song. 
man for one. Ending with gator or hater aid. Ruibos is a T. Exhaust. Tap. All right. Hold on. Let's let's work down here. Now that we've seen all the clues, I'm going to work on the areas that I can try and get. Texas is the largest U.S. producer of these. Sap. Largest producer of... Hmm, interesting. I don't know what that is. Stretch in logic. That's a leap. Oh, there we go. I was misspelling something. Lotion alternative is going to be an oil. Uh, some kind of oil. Okay. Uh, this is going to be Genoa, probably. Anachronistic verb in the age of smartphones. Hmm. And what is our revealer again? Important warning before you answer these. Okay. It looks like 32 across is they found Nemo. I think it's finding Nemo and they found Nemo. Nemo. Oh, I think it's spoiler alert. They found Nemo. Spoiler alert is the answer here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's movies and then the where the the ending spoils the title. Something like that. So, uh, she killed Bill. Okay, great. The family drama. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I'm pretty sure they found Nemo and she would kill Bill is the answer. And I really like it. I think that's great. I love it. Okay. Maneuvered for... Hmm. Gwen Stefani? No. It's not Gwen Stefani. Rhyme. Cause to be admired. Okay. What's this? Ideal. Perf. Chicks say. Hmm. So bite risk. Turns into dogs. Interruption. Jump scares. That's a staple of horror movies. Interruption. Laps. They're constantly lapped. Kind of fly. Say to fly, right? The sweetest joy, the wildest woe. Shores are constantly lapped. That makes sense. Okay, quizzical cries are O's. I don't know what this lotion alternative is. Bed something oil. Anachronistic verb. Oh, maybe it's not Genoa. Maybe Genoa's wrong. Maybe it's L or Ely. Hmm. Dial. Approve. Hmm. Petitions. What is this family drama? 93. I'm 
1993. Uh, Hullabaloo Din. Acoustics for one. Hmm. Striped yellow balls are maybe nines. Makes Mary. Approve is bless. Body oil. Ionia. Ionia? Ionia. Man for one. Small bird with a loud song. Goddess in the Hindu pantheon. Shoot. Cause to be admired. Petitions. Oh boy. Okay, I might be stuck here. So uh, I think this is maybe a good place for me to just cut and I'll come back when I've made some headway. Okay, I think I am about to solve this. I think this is in Deer and Ecton. Yes, there we go. And uh, hey, pretty good Friday puzzle. Um, pretty tough. It was indeed Gwen Stefani. I was right. I just wasn't spelling it right. Um, for our bonus fill, Power Posing and Gwen Stefani, is, those are pretty good uh, bonus fill entries. Um, as for the theme, we've got a spoiler alert theme. Uh, basically, where the title of the movie is kind of basically just saying the plot of the movie. Uh, and then in, and then changing it to past tense, basically, and saying, hey, they did it in the end. Uh, so for Finding Nemo, they, spoiler alert, they found Nemo. Uh, Kill Bill, spoiler alert, she killed Bill. And uh, Free Willy, spoiler alert, he freed Willy. Um, it's a pretty fun theme. I kind of like it. Uh, also, I like the fact that it is, um, th that the pronouns change each time. So it's they for Finding Nemo, she for Kill Bill, and he for Free Willy. Um, I like that uh, the constructor chose different ones for each, uh, for each entry. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, as far as the themes go, I like the theme. As far as the puzzles go, it's pretty good. There's some things I wouldn't like. Like th Honestly, this one has a little bit more crosswordies than I would like for a Thursday puzzle. Um, a, a little bit more of these kind of standard crosswords, words, especially the three letters. Like there's a lot of three letter entries in this. We've got uh, uh, just a stack of three over here with a stack of three over here and then corresponding corners also stacks of three uh, over in each corner um, which is a lot and then you know some in the middle as well uh, these that's quite a lot of three letter entries for a for a Thursday puzzle usually a Thursday puzzle um, in order to ramp up in the difficulty level, we'll have more of uh, longer entries, but this feels like a lot of short entries for a Thursday, which, um, you know, I don't love, uh, but as a puzzle overall, it's still pretty good. There's some fun stuff in here. I like this middle stack of cubic, Enola, and oddly, that's kind of fun. Um, and I do like the theme. I, I do think it's fun. I don't think it's necessarily mind-blowing in any way. I, I think this could work fine as a Tuesday or Wednesday theme as well, so I'm not sure why it was chosen to be a Thursday necessarily, um, other than just like the overall difficulty level of the puzzle, I suppose. But um, yeah, not a bad puzzle. I'm not, I'm not complaining about this. I still think it's a solid puzzle and I would give it uh, one thumb up out of, out of two maybe. Um, but let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and give this uh, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, also, if you haven't already, follow the link in the description to go over to Twitch and follow me on Twitch because this coming Sunday I will be doing a live stream of the Sunday New York Times crossword and over on Twitch. And uh, if you want to join in and help me solve it, and we can solve it together, uh, you got to go over to Twitch and follow me on Twitch to be notified when that goes live. Uh, that's it. Thanks so much. I will see you on Sunday or see you next week. Have a great weekend, everyone.
Um, thank you. Bye-bye.